Juneteenth is now a paid holiday for Jacksonville City workers. News for Jacks reporter Brianna Andrews joins us. And Brianna, you spoke to activists who say they're happy about the city council's vote. I'm standing outside of City Hall where all of the action happened last night. I spoke with black activist groups that say this is a step in the right direction. They're hoping it's a catalyst for more diversity and inclusion here in the city. 16 yay, 2 nay. It's official starting in 2022, June 19th, better known as Juneteenth, will be the 12th paid holiday for the city of Jacksonville employees. Juneteenth celebrates the freeing of enslaved people in the United States. Local activists applaud the move. I think that the city's support of this Juneteenth commemoration is definitely a step in the right direction. It is a good first step, but we want to see more progress and more change. I'm talking about hiring more black contractors. I'm talking about taking down racist statues. We have a lot of things here in Jacksonville that we have to work towards. The new paid holiday comes with a hefty price tag. Council members Al Ferraro and Rory Diamond voted no. Diamond told us he's not opposed to commemorating the day, but it's the cost that led to his decision. I think uh, Juneteenth is absolutely something we should celebrate. I just couldn't support spending over $2 million for another paid employee holiday. City Councilman Matt Carlucci just says otherwise. Why not? Uh, this is such a huge day in the history of the fabric of our country. It was the right thing to do in Jacksonville. You know, local government sometimes has to lead on things. Juneteenth is a U.S. federal holiday. President Joe Biden signed legislation earlier this year. And Florida has not established Juneteenth as an official state holiday, legal state holiday. But in the city of Miami, Juneteenth is a paid holiday for city workers. It is not, though, in Orlando or Tampa. Reporting live from City Hall, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.